The user agent switch extension allows you to easily switch between popular user agent strings directly from your browser toolbar. There are over 26 popular user agent strings to choose from as well as full customization options. To begin using this extension, we first add it to our browser. After the installation, we can then pin this to our browser toolbar via the top right hand corner here. Once pinned, we then see the option inside our toolbar of our browser. We can go ahead and left click this and see all of the options within. So let's go ahead and find out what my user agent is currently. To do this, we're going to open two websites. So we can see at the moment we have two websites open and the user agent is the same across both websites. So let's have a look and see how this tool works. So we go ahead and select it inside the browser toolbar. We then have the preset user agent options available. As you can see, the top row has the mobile device, the second row has desktop browsers, then the third row has alternating operating systems. So for example, we could go ahead and select Apple Mobile and then Linux as an example. This is Chrome here on Linux and Apple Mobile. So we can see the different options. Let's go ahead and refresh the page. So here we can see operating system with Apple. Go ahead and change this to IBM. Go ahead and refresh the page and we can see this changes again. Now at the moment, this is set on all URLs by default as defined here. However, we can actually create specific rules for certain browsers or certain websites. So let's go ahead and copy the domain name here, which is whatismybrowser.com. We go back and we add the domain name. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to set it to uh, Android as an example. If we go ahead and refresh the page, we can see this is updated. Whereas if we visit the other website and refresh the page, we can see this is running my actual user agent and this is running the one that I've set via the extension. So the individual rules allow you to set specific websites for um, the user agent that you want to appear. You'll also notice inside the toolbar, it takes on the icon of the current user agent we have set. Then via this, you have further options available. Here you have the option to reload the tab for convenience as we change the user agent. Here we have the ability to go back to our default user agent at any time, which is a simple click of the button, a refresh of the page, and we see our default user agent. Here we then see the ability to actually edit this as well. So we could go ahead and select something like the Firefox browser and then click the edit option and we have the ability here to actually write whatever we want. So we're going to head and change this to something completely random, refresh the page and we can see it picks up that complete customization. So not only do you have the 26 popular presets, but you also have the ability to edit these or set your own user agent entirely. And again, this is set on the domain name that I've specified. And I can go ahead and make this go across further domain names using the comma function. So if we were to add the second domain name here, add the comma function, so it's a depleted list, refresh this page. And now we can see this is updated as well. Or we can revert this back to normal by having all underscore URLs, refresh the page, and it's still in place because it's now across all URLs on the web. The tool also comes with a handy option to find out your user agent via the settings here as well, as we see defined here. If you want to use this extension inside incognito mode, you simply right click, click manage extensions, scroll down and click here to allow incognito.